This video is brought to you by Heka.com. Heka.com is a Chinese website that specializes in a lot of your technology needs that has a broad range of products ranging from phones down to 3D printers to headphones to RC drones and vehicles and categories such as phones and accessories, computers, toys, hobbies and robots, RC vehicles, sports outdoors watches headphones you can also scroll on down through here and see all of their official brand partners which you can check out there now their menu system is pretty simple and straightforward you got a whole section here of what you can choose from from phones to headphones i mean there's a bunch of stuff here that you can use so be sure and check out hecka.com with the link down below in the description and happy shopping all right so today i'll be doing a unboxing and a brief walkthrough of the your phone power armor 14 this was sent over by hecka.com so thanks to them for sending this over now the power armor 14 is one of those big durable construction type phones and today we're going to take a brief walkthrough take a look at some of the features and the specs and all that good stuff so looking at the box here pretty thick as you can see nice presentation turn the box around here and you will see some specs this is an ip69k slash ip68 proof it's got a 6.52 inch water drop display it has the mediatek helio g35 ultra core processor with four gigabytes of ram and 64 gigabytes of storage it's got face unlock and fingerprint id a 20 megapixel triple rear camera it's got a 10,000 milliamp hour battery, 15 watt wireless charging, uh, NFC plus Google Pay, and powered by Android 11. Let's go ahead and pop the top. And right on top here, we are greeted by this Yule phone right here. This little booklet. So we'll just see what comes here in the booklet. So you got your uh, simulation tool, instructions, Stuff like that and you also have a glass screen protector now this phone <laughs> is so thick that it will not need a case next up we have the phone we'll pick this up and put it to the side that's a hefty hefty phone right there all right we'll go ahead and see what else comes in the box here so you do get that one plus looking cable there this usb a to usb c you do got what looks like a little wristband here as well and you also have the wall adapter and that's pretty much it okay so phone is now in hand and the first thing you're going to notice about this phone is this weight this thing is super heavy and if you happen to put this in your pocket you're going to definitely know it's there all right look how thick this phone is now it looks nice. It looks very durable. It feels very durable. I'm not exactly sure what the back here is made out of. Uh, I'm guessing like a hard plastic up here. I'm not really too sure. But if you look up here, you'll see it's got kind of a rose gold accents around the camera, the Yule phone name. On the side here for the volume rockers, also in rose gold. On the left side, this other little button over here is also like in rose gold. So uh kind of a odd color choice for this phone but it looks good i mean the accents do look really good so yeah back of it you see here on the right you do got your power button which doubles as a fingerprint scanner on above it here of course is your volume rocker on top you got a headphone jack that is covered on the left you have your sd and sim card slot and dedicated button there and on the bottom you got a microphone bottom firing speaker, type C charging port that's also covered. And it looks like there is a screw right there. It's, won't focus in too good. If you decide that you want to take that cover off, if it's in your way or whatever. And of course, your 6.5 inch display. Let's go ahead and boot it up. We know it's got juice. I mean, 10,000 milliamp hour battery. <laughs> so yeah, I'll go ahead and get it all set up and I'll come back when it's finished. Okay, so we're all set up now and ready to go. Now, I have been using this phone here for a few minutes. You know, I ran a Geekbench test, set up my fingerprint, face unlock, and just, you know, just use the phone a little bit to see how it performs. And there is some pros and cons I'm going to go over here 
uh, in this video. But first of all, I'll turn the phone around here and check out the unlocking system. So you can unlock it three different ways. You can swipe up for your pin, your pattern, or your password. Or fingerprint scanner, of course, opens just like that. No big deal. I mean, it works just fine, as you can see right there. It also has face unlock. Now, the index finger here is not registered, as you can see. So let's go ahead and check out face unlock now, if I can get it to work from behind this. There we go. So you can see right there, it ain't the fastest, but it does work. So there you go. Now, this version right here has no app drawer. If it's in the system or in the settings, we'll find that here in a little bit. Swipe up here, and of course, there's nothing there. But look in here, and basically, it's a stock version of Android. There's not nothing on the phone, except for the outdoor toolbox that you're going to find on all of these, you know, rugged phones just like this here. So we'll take a quick look at that first. And um, you can see right here, that's just, okay, you have all kinds of stuff like your flashlight, your compass, a uh, height meter, pedometer, sound meter, alarm bell. Sound meter is pretty cool. If you press that, you can see when I talk, it goes up and it'll tell you what kind of environment we're in. How accurate that is, I really don't know, but it is kind of a cool feature to have here on this phone. So, I wish I had a thermometer on it, but it don't have that on it. Uh, but yeah, all that stuff there. So, pretty cool to have all that stuff here in this phone. And of course, you, get, you got children's space if you want to use that. Now, FM radio uh, is not like other phones where you got to have a, you know, a wired headset for the wire to be the antenna. You can actually use this FM radio here without any without anything um now i've tried that out i won't play anything due to copyright but uh it does work uh the bottom firing speaker it's not dual speakers it is a bottom firing speaker and um you know the little bit of time that i did try the fm radio out the bottom firing speaker did sound okay it was a bit tiny i wish it was you know a little bit more mids and lows but i mean at least this version here has the speaker on the bottom a lot of these phones like this here are, they're on the back so that's a major plus being on the bottom and it does get pretty loud so uh anyway let's go ahead and look around the phone here so you got all your google apps here of course installed on your phone the display is a 1600 by 720p display so you know it's a 20 a 20 by 9 aspect ratio and all that kind of stuff we'll go ahead and pull the drop down here and it's already got a new version available for a wireless update uh, but here you got your wi-fi your bluetooth screen recorder your nfc your underwater camera your super screenshot uh, just all that good stuff there we'll go to the settings here for a little bit and see what we have so that's your wi-fi of course got it has bluetooth 5.0 so there you go android auto hotspot and tethering more network settings here for your mobile plan of course all that stuff data saver vpn private dns got your display here so light and dark thing change it to dark make it a lot easier to see here uh, on camera got your launcher settings so you have a bunch of stuff here in your launcher settings. So you've got your uh, layout display. I'm going to choose 5x4 or 4x4, unfortunately. No 5x5. Um, customize app icon. All this stuff here. Desktop mode. Um, just a bunch of stuff here that you see, you know, on all kinds of phones. Uh, screen timeout. Notification LED. So it does have an LED notification light, which is also nice. Screen color mode here. you got cool color standard and go to vivid just make it look a little bit better and uh all that stuff there cast and printing and stuff like that now navigation bar so if you do not like the gesture navigations you can of course have the um but uh, the back home and recents button there choose those colors you can switch them around here if you so choose so if you don't like the gestures you can use the virtual keys here on this phone now back out of there, we'll go on down to, of course, you got biometrics and password. That's just for your pin pattern, password, face unlock, and fingerprint scanner uh, security. Now here's your custom key for the side over here. A single click, you can pick whatever's on the phone, application-wise, flashlight, screenshot, whatever the case may be. Double click and long press to open Zello, which I have no idea what Zello is, but it's on the phone. Intelligent Assistant here fingerprint function here 
you can use it to do all of this stuff here return back return home screen capture all that kind of good stuff going on there uh, flip to silent anti-fake uh, anti-fake touch mode three finger screenshot so really nice feature there here on the phone uh, emergency rescue i mean just a really uh, a lot of cool features here on this phone single hand usage which you may need because this phone is pretty good size uh, lift to wake and all of that stuff there as well now battery <laughs> 10,000 milliamp hour battery if you want to see me uh, do a video test and report back on how long this thing does of playing straight video I will do it it will take a long time but I will do it let me know down in the comment section if you want to see that done or not so yeah um, accounts you got system down here so you have your wireless update which of course it's got an update right now it says the point of modification is optimize the system so it's about all it says there storage is 64 gigs and only 9.5 gigabytes is used of that so that's nice also sd card is an option if you want to use that advanced here yeah just stuff like that but that's pretty much all there is there in the settings so now th this phone runs the mediatek helio g35 processor and that's kind you know i've had experiences with that processor and they've not always been the best that is kind of a weak processor that's really one of this phone's handicaps that i can only see um if i had to you know pick and choose would be you know i've, I've not tested the cameras out i've not tested you know all that stuff out yet but as far as you know performance if you want this phone here for gaming if you want it for very heavy usage this processor is not going to be the one that allows you to do that because the G the G35 processor is just not very powerful. I'll go ahead and show you the Geekbench 5 scores now. And you can see here with a single core score of 166 and a multi core of 869, it's not going to be a heavy hitter when it comes to games, when it comes to heavy multitasking. It's just not going it's just not that kind of phone, all right? It feels a little bit sluggish even out of the box. But, you know, maybe that'll clear up with updates. Maybe after the phone's been on for a little while, that'll straighten itself out. Usually it does a little bit. Now, it does got four gigabytes of RAM, which does help and all that in, in all of that. So we'll take just a brief look here at the camera just to see what we can record in and all that kind of stuff here. Now, basically, this is just going to be just your average camera okay you it, the screen does lighten up whenever you um brighten up whenever you go into the camera so you got your photo mode here typical stuff up top you got your picture size here of 20 megapixels uh four by three full screen 10 four by three eight and so forth and so on you have your continuous shots here's uh, zero shutter delay all of that stuff going on there you have your video mode over here so we'll see what we can record in and i think it's 1080p so yeah 1080p 720 480 so no you know 60 frames per second nothing like that here on this phone you got night mode over here of course so that's nice you got a pro mode if you would so choose if i hit the button i <laughs> hit pro mode you got a macro mode which is pretty cool we'll get in really close here and you can see the macro mode is pretty nice and you got more for you know uhd portrait your GIF, GIF, whatever you want to call it, panorama, time lapse, intelligent scanning, and stuff like that. So camera is basic, 20 megapixel. We'll have to just see how that actually is. But the screen does not look bad. You know, the viewing angles are really ain't bad at all. I mean, they do kind of fade out when you got it really tilted, but really, you know, like I said before. Now, what is it? Now, who was this phone for? Um, and basically, I would say this phone of course is for construction workers uh it's for those who work outside a lot you, you know doing anything you know really really heavy duty where your phone could be dropped thrown stomped maybe even ran over i don't know and it has gorilla glass 3 on the front so you know it did come with the screen protector pre-installed it was plastic i tore that thing off but it does come with the glass one if you so wish now if you want to use this here on the the networks i want to test it out on verizon it ain't supposed to work on verizon but we're going to test it out anyway but it can work on t-mobile and at&t we know how they've been lately so i wouldn't count on them a lot but the lte bands are 1 2 3 4 5 7 8 12 13 17 18 19 20 25 26 28 38 and 40 so no band 71 no band 66 
Uh, but honestly, like I said, this phone right here is 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 meant to be used and abused. All right. I mean, this thing here has one of the highest ratings for you know IP ratings, and I believe this phone could really you know withstand a lot of stuff. And this phone's also for those who just drop their phone constantly. If you got a kid and they drop their phone a lot or whatever the case may be, this would be a good phone for them as well because, I mean, it ain't likely to break. Uh, just make sure you add a screen protector to make sure that the screen don't crack because nothing else probably will if <laughs> you're on this phone. Um, but this is for just your, you know, your moderate to light usage, you know, maybe the light game. I would download Asphalt 9. That's the only game that I do download. Uh, on these phones when I test them out but your smaller games really shouldn't be a problem and of course if you want something with a huge battery that's going to last you a long time if you want to watch a lot of YouTube, Netflix, um, Hulu, HBO Max, whatever I'm sure you can get quite a few hours uh, on this battery now I did forget to mention that of course I did say at the beginning it is 15 watt wireless charging but it's only 18 watt quick charge when plugged into the wall. So 18 watt quick charging and a 10,000 milliamp hour battery. You better make sure you have plenty of time for this phone to charge because it will take a while. So I apologize for it being so long, but I wanted to get all this stuff out. I meant for it to be brief, but you know, I got into it and I just wanted to give you all the ins and outs that I found so far with the Yulphone Power Armor 14. This phone, I believe, is selling for $149.99, which, in my personal opinion, for a phone that can <laughs> withstand anybody, most likely, is not a bad price. Of course, check out Heka.com. Links are down below in the description, and check out the prices there. That's going to be all for this video. So if it's helpful and informative in any way, hit that like button. Any questions you may have, leave it down below. If you're new around here, I'd like to ask y'all to subscribe and click that bell on to receive notifications for all future videos coming up soon. And that'd be appreciated. Y'all have a good one and thanks for watching.